The city of Las Vegas has a proposed ordinance of where street vendors can operate. Prohibited areas include a 1,500 feet buffer from resort hotels and a 1,000 foot buffer from gaming and downtown establishments. Now we've got a map to share with you. The blue is for areas zoned only for residential use. 8 News Now reporter Mary Jane Bellies and breaks it all down. In consideration of Senate Bill 92 passed by the Nevada Legislature, the City of Las Vegas will consider a proposed ordinance to license and regulate sidewalk vendors. Clark County Commissioners unanimously passed a prohibition of street vending within 1,500 feet of resort hotels, event and convention areas, and highway medians back in October. Now the City of Las Vegas is rolling out similar regulations. Vendors can't be within 1,000 feet of a place with a gaming license, the city's pedestrian mall, or the downtown entertainment overlay district. Nick Geick says he's seen vendors sprawled around various parts of the city and during late night hours. On my way to work, usually like in parking lots, um, at night most of the time. It does make it harder for them especially. Um, it's just, it's real scared for them. I mean, you wouldn't like to know if you're like, going to be able to thrive, feed your family the next day. Those vending aren't allowed to impede pedestrian traffic or be a thousand feet near a city park, swimming pool, or community center. Vendors also can't operate near 150 feet of a restaurant while it's open. While Giancarlo Casarin understands the restrictions, he's worried about the pushback this could create for vendors. I've had people very close to me in that exact situation, and they end up working in places where you know they want to be, you know, selling what they have to offer, and they, they can't, they just can't afford it, or they can't, you know, get themselves in a situation where they can get these licenses and all that stuff. So I think the restrictions are unfortunate. A sidewalk vendor must have a valid health permit and health card, as well as an annual business license. Reporting from the Arts District in the City of Las Vegas, Mary Jane Villeza, 8 News Now. Las Vegas City Council will have a chance to vote on the ordinance next month.